Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and this is the Locker Gnome Daily Report, or TLDR for short, your daily dose of tech news, gadget views, and answers that you can use. The Locker Gnome Daily Report is brought to you by GoToAssist from Citrix with all the IT support tools you need integrated into one cloud-based product. Easily log incidents and resolutions with Service Desk, quickly troubleshoot problems with GoToAssist's remote support, and set proactive alerts through GoToAssist monitoring so you're first to know about any issues. For a free 30-day trial, visit GoToAssist.com, click the Try It Free button, and use the promo code PERILLO. I, I'm wearing a vest. I, gear, it's a vest! From iGear.com. That's A-Y-E-G-E-A-R.com, and it's the place you want to go to if you want to have a vest with tons of pockets in which you can stick all your electronics. Here it is, pulled inside out. Several pockets on either side. Plenty of space for, well, whatever you need to stick into those pockets. Airport friendly, security scanner compatible, and baggage fees? What baggage fees? Just carry everything on. There's even a special pocket for your ID. You know, in case you lose your vest. So if you're looking for the world's geekiest vest, look no further than iGear. I will certainly be using mine. Was television made for geeks? Well, at least some of the shows are. One of my favorites being The Big Bang Theory. Then there's the IT crowd, Chuck, which I never really got into. I know, I'm probably the only geek who never got into Chuck. I'm enjoying King of the Nerds, though, right now. It's a reality show for geeks and, and nerds. Well, I guess anybody who's watching it could enjoy it, theoretically. Diana's bringing me wax! Guess the scent. I could guess the shape. Hello. It does smell like <laughs> butt crack. It's birthday cake. No, no, it definitely smells like butt crack. Yes, world, if you wanted to know what my office smells like today, it's butt crack. And let me tell you, if someone ever gives you a birthday cake that smells like butt crack, send it back. Unless, of course, it's butt crack flavor. All right, okay, moving along. What's the geekiest show you've seen on TV? Today or, well, whenever? I have several Android devices on hand, but just one in my hand right now. How safe is rooting an Android device? Relatively speaking, it's safe. Safe enough. I mean, the thing to keep in mind is sometimes you can expect to experience unexpected turbulence. It's going to be as safe as the version of Android that you're installing on your Android device. Okay, the device that could support some kind of iteration of Android. They're fun to mess with. I mean, that's why people uh, like ruining their devices. I mean, did I say ruining? Rooting their devices. But yes, your device could get ruined. Not that it would happen, just that... Well, here's the thing. The beauty of Android is that anybody can take the ball and run with it. And usually people do take the ball and run with it. But... Bugs happen. Heck, even in official releases, bugs happen. So when you are relying on the community to build a better platform for you, or at least a version of Android that you want to try on your Android phone, or at least a phone that is capable of supporting uh, Android distribution or whatever you want to call it, uh, you know, you just sometimes are taking matters into your own hands. And, well, let the installer beware. That would be you. Uh, you're responsible for what happens with the device. And if you're fine with that, cool. I am too. I don't care. Some people love to root their devices. Cool. Some people love to root their devices. And you know what? I'm rooting for them. Someone seriously asked this question and I seriously answered it. Is the iPad good for vlogging? Can you do it? Yes. Should you do it? Well, if you want to, it's just that when you hold a device like this to record video, it just looks a little awkward compared to holding a device like this to record video. It's up to you. I mean, the hardware is certainly capable of allowing you to vlog or record video. It's just, you gotta think about what other people are thinking about. Unless you don't care what other people are thinking about, in which case, you vlog your ass off with the iPad if you want to. Just keep in mind that some people might make fun of you for it. Not me, though, because it's your device, it's your vlog. You can do whatever you want to do with it, dude. It's your life. Live it. Unless you don't want the iPad, in which case, fine. Okay, could you vlog with a Nexus 10? Yes, you could. You can. And should you? It's up to you. The hardware is capable. Society needs to catch up. Should I trade my iPhone 4S for a Samsung Galaxy S3? Now, this was a question posted on LockerGnome.net. And, of course, the response is going to be contingent on 
who's asking the question and the parameters upon which this decision is based. He loves social media, has a MacBook Pro, Apple TV, Nexus 7, soon to be iPad, he says, and the iPhone 4S. He does like the S3 as a phone, but the problem is that he has a certain network. He can jailbreak the iPhone and it'll still work. With the Samsung Galaxy S3, there's a possibility to switch to global and use the LTE for his network after rooting. Do you think the phone would work for him? There's nothing inherently wrong with the Samsung Galaxy S3. It's a great device. People love it. Why do you think it's sold so well? But here's the thing about Android. It doesn't play nicely with Apple's ecosystem. That's what you gotta keep in mind. I mean, unless you expect to operate this device independent of everything else that you have, uh, you just have to remember that the iPhone's going to work better with the other Apple products that you have. Now, if you had no other Apple products, I would say, yeah, it's a compelling argument to go with the Samsung Galaxy S3, or really any other phone. Unless you really, 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 really want to root it. Or you really, really, really want to play with Android. Damn, that thing's wider than me. The Samsung Galaxy S3 is not for everybody. Nor is the iPhone 4S. And speaking of Google, a new version of Google Currents is available for iOS, and Locker Gnome has a channel on there. Go ahead and search for us. I've put the link for you in the video's description, though, so you can just tap the link and go directly to it, assuming you have Google Currents installed on your device. And by the way, if you have the free Locker Gnome app installed right now on your iOS or Android device, your push notifications should be working. We send you a push whenever we update the YouTube channel with a new video. So... Hopefully you're using the free Locker Gnome app. Again, links in this video's description. Okay, okay, freeze frame at any point in this video and take a screenshot of my face. I guarantee it'll be funny. Tweet it and I'll retweet it. And then we can have some fun with a caption this thing, I don't know. BitTorrent is working on a personal file syncing app to compete with Dropbox. Dropbox, BitTorrent, which one would you go with and why? Me? I'd probably side with BitTorrent because it's a protocol. Of course, it's a company too, but I'm saying the protocol is more open and not tied to any one particular brand, unless you consider BitTorrent a brand. Our question of the day is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. If you want to save money on your next purchase, just email me first. I'll send you my latest list of coupons. Chris at Perillo.com. That's my email address to email me. And the question is, any good tips for making better vlogs? Well, I freak show. If that is your real name, I'm assuming it's not. It's a great handle, though, by the way. Uh, a vlog is very personal. So even the way I do my vlogs, the Perillo vlogs, as I call them, uh, it's just the way I want to do them. It doesn't mean that that's how they have to be done. This, by the way, the Locker Gnome Daily Report, I don't consider a vlog. You know, I'm just telling you my perspective on uh, the day's news, uh, potentially answering questions. I mean, this is a, a video, but by no means a vlog. I, I think of a vlog more like a, a personal narrative, uh, sharing your life with other people from around the world and them appreciating you sharing what you're sharing with them. That's a vlog. That's vlogging in my mind. So you've got to make it your own. If I had any tip to share with people who want to get started with vlogs and making quote unquote better vlogs, it's being yourself, making that vlog your own. And you know what? If no one cares, well, why are you doing it? You got to do it for one reason or another. But for me, it's a catharsis. It gives me a chance to share my life outside of my perspectives of technology and Okay, I wouldn't say general geekery because a lot of that slips into the daily vlog. Uh, but it's still an extension of myself. I don't expect that anybody is going to pay attention to a vlog, nor should you. Uh, what's a better vlog? A better vlog is something that is more you than it is somebody else. You might take some inspiration from the way I do vlogs. That's cool. But you can't do a vlog like the way I do a vlog because that's the way I do a vlog. And it's very personal to me. The way you do a personal vlog should absolutely be different from everybody else. Because you know what? There's only one you. And the thing that's going to make people want to watch a vlog over and over and over again isn't anything else but you. I mean, why do you watch the stuff that I do every day? Is it because of the tech? Is it because of the geekiness? Is it because of me? Why do you subscribe to the Locker Gnome YouTube channel? Why do you follow me on Twitter? Why do you decide to share the content that we're creating for you every day? It's because we have this kind of symbiotic relationship. It's not just me talking to a camera. I really genuinely want to connect with everybody out there. And granted, I, I can only have so many 
people in my personal circle, but still being able to connect to a community uh, where my message resonates, that's something that keeps me going forward. So thank you so much for paying attention, uh, for sharing that attention, and of course, you know, just being yourself inside this greater part of our community. And it is a great community, thanks to people like you. We appreciate everything that you do because without you, I could not be doing this. So thanks. We'll see you later.